Rec at Home Basketball Drills. We got a fun video for you today. We got some really good drills to help you increase your workouts this week. We got a ladder drill, a speed ladder drill, and I have some helpers. They're gonna try and keep up with me. So you see if they keep up with me, okay? But I have some really good helpers, really great and fun drills. Here's our speed ladder. We're gonna start off with our speed ladder drills to get our muscles activated. My helpers, come on out. For our speed ladder drill, we're gonna do three sets of everything. For our first set, we're going through the speed ladder. We run through the ladder. We're gonna do that three times. Next, we're going to hop through the ladder. It's going to increase our jumping ability. The final speed ladder drill, we're going to jump in the box, out the box. That increases our side-to-side -side ability going left to right, our lateral movement. Those are our speed ladder drills. When you do your speed ladder drills, do them in sets of three. Now, my helpers are gonna show you a line drill, but with cones. This is kind of like a race, but it's still conditioning. So they're gonna show you how to do it. So this is our cone line drill. That was our cone line drill. We're going to incorporate the speed ladder with the cones. Let me demonstrate. Our speed ladder, we want to start down. We're going to run through the ladder, come around, jump over the cone, and then right back up and through the speed ladder again. My helpers are gonna demonstrate. Helpers come. So let's start down by the speed ladder. And who wants to be first? Okay. Run through the ladder and then jump back. Jump over the cones. Go. Go 
Pull that cone. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Jump over. Jump over. Okay, keep up with me. our conditioning speed ladder with the cone drills activates the muscles it also incorporates your footwork we're going to work on ball handling and we're still going to incorporate our speed ladder and our cones today for our ball handling but coach has a really really difficult task we have a grocery bag I want you to find a grocery bag and put your basketball in it. Now you're asking, why is coach putting a basketball into a grocery bag? Well, he's making the ball slippery, so it's hard to handle. And so you have to maintain your focus while dribbling the ball. The ball might be slippery and get away from you, Use your fingertips and your wrist control to control the ball. So, we're gonna start with our speed ladder. And as we're dribbling, with the ball in the grocery bag, coach is gonna jab step into the speed ladder. Then we're gonna go back. Now, the ball's a little slippery, so in order to control the ball, because it's in a bag, you want to get a little lower with your dribble. So it gets away from you if you don't get low. So watch. Coach got a little lower. Watch the ball. So that's our speed ladder with the ball in the grocery bag. Now, you snake we're gonna go a snake drill with the ball in the grocery bag. Maintain a long drill. Now crossover. Where are my helpers? Now my helpers. They're going to dribble with the ball through the cone.
our ball handling. Through the speed ladder, through the cones, make sure fingertips, wrist control, helps you to be a really good basketball handler. You gotta be able to handle the basketball, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're gonna practice our defensive stance. When you practice your defensive stance, make sure you have a basketball. If you do have a basketball, it's great. If you got something just a teeny wee bit heavier, that's great too. Find a wall, and I want you to stand next to the wall. As I'm standing to the wall, I'm gonna sit down, and I'm gonna hold my back up against it, and I'm gonna hold the ball just like this. Coach did that for 12 seconds. Try to do it anywhere between 10 to 15 seconds. So I'm gonna do two more sets. When doing your defensive stance, you must have a strong base. The ball exemplifies you keeping your balance at all times while playing defense. That is our defensive stance. Find a wall to position yourself against it. Be at a 90 degree angle. Get your arms out straight. Breathe, maintain a focus. Because while you're playing basketball, you have to guard. Or even if you're playing offense, but primarily on the defense, you have to maintain that stance. And that lets your offensive player know that you're guarding and you mean business. Now we have our shooting drill. This is your challenge drill. Every week, coach poses a challenge for you to do. What we have today is a three spot drill with four cones. Each player has two cones. Each player has to make a series of shots. This is spot one, spot two, spot three. I'm at spot one, I shoot and I make, I go to spot two, and I go to spot three. I hit all three shots, then I tip my cone over. Then I sprint back. I go back to one, two, and three. And the first player that knocks down their two cones wins the drill. It's a good way to work on your ball handling and your speed and getting to another shot to help set the tone for basketball simulations. I'm gonna have my helpers come back out Grab a basketball, and we're going to do this drill. One for you, and one for you. I'll get the cone. We're both at one. And remember, if you miss only at one, you start over. Ready. Good sportsmanship. Go knock down your cone. Shoot at him. Shoot at him. 
Good job. That was our cone and three spot shooting drill. I hope you had fun with this. This is a great video. I had some great helpers. They really worked hard this week. I hope you guys have a successful week. Also, want to extend congratulations to any and everyone who's completed their grade and graduated this year from high school to middle school to elementary school and Head Start. Congratulations. I will see you soon. Have a great week.